Ladies and gentlemen, an impressive halo coronal mass ejection has just shown up on the chronograph care of Lasko and the Soho movie maker. And you're looking at the halo eruption. You can see prior to the eruption, there's a small CME that shoots out to the bottom left here. And then boom, a larger CME. And this is all associated with this long duration C flare that you see right here on the screen. Now, according to SolarHam, an impressive halo coronal mass ejection is visible on the latest coronagraph imagery, courtesy of Lasco. It first became visible in stereo ahead imagery beginning around 1915 UTC. And if we go check out the telemetry, 1915 UTC is right here at this peak in the blue. So the CME is associated with a filament destabilizing. A filament eruption near AR-2962 in the northwest quadrant was seen beginning around 1845 UTC. When watching the filament eruption near AR-2962 in stereo head, a wave of plasma leaving the site is evident. And the latest update by uh, NOAA and SWPC is reporting that they believe the CME to be Earth-directed. And currently, it is not showing up on ISWA. This is that small CME before the bigger one that we see. That one is on there, but nothing is showing up on the Enlil spiral either. So they'll probably be there in the morning. But we do have confirmation that right in this region of 2962, there was a large event. Now, 2962 is not showing up as a significant flare risk, but this was a filament eruption. The biggest flare risk on the disk right now is the new spot turning uh, towards center disk right now, active region 2965 where there's a 15% M flare threat, 60% C flare threat. So here we are looking at Lasco C2. First, we have that small CME that's on the Enlil, and then the big, we're waiting for it here, right here. Boom! That huge halo event. Now, this isn't really a huge coronal mass ejection, but it, it is much larger than this little puff here. Watch it. So much more significant than the one that looks geo-effective. This one, in fact, will be geo-effective and could see... Uh, mid-level storms at KP5 to 7 potentially, but we, we just don't have any of the current models coming up, so it's hard to tell here, but it's certainly Earth-directed, albeit a little up and to the right here, but the halo element is quite evident. You can see it come all the way down and around here. Watch the bottom. Yes. So this baby is probably headed towards Earth. Now we can run it through. It's coming from this region right here. All of a sudden, as it turns by, it starts to get active. And then there you go. There's the event. It's still ongoing as far as this visual is concerned. And then this is the next sunspot that's uh, turning in right here that's quite concerning. Slightly concerning, let's say. Here we are on uh, 304 angstroms. And then there's the event right there. A little less impressive on 304 angstroms. But the event's about to happen. So there's like this one major lightning bolt. Seems to get the area jiggy. And then there you go. Then there's the plasma, kids. So we'll run this through for you again. So you can see that filament right in there. See it right in there? And then, boom, it goes off, and then, it, well, it gets a little jiggy. So what that has created is a halo CME, quite impressive, much more impressive than this little puff. Boom, look at that thing. And it's headed towards the Earth. Now it'll be here in about two days, two and a half days. Uh, and we're waiting for the Enlil Spiral and Iswa to, to pick it up. Now that little puff that's coming off there in this current model is that little CME on the bottom left down here, that one right there. And then what's not on the model is this big one. Boom, that happens right there. So we have a coronal mass ejection coming from about the center of the sun, headed towards Earth. Could be moderate geomagnetic storm in a few days, uh, but we'll have more information in the morning. So stay tuned in the morning for updates. And that's a boom. The knowledge, proper prior planning, prevents piss poor performance, keeping you up to speed on space weather and what you need to know. And the no, you need to know it. Did I say that right? Be safe. We love you. Mm -hmm.